Hi guys, so uh, on my other video, I uh, show you that I have um, no load, right? Because uh, the battery is low, I have no load, and um, it's so um, 118 volt. So now my battery is 12.1 volt. Wow, um, we don't have enough sun today, so it's not fully charged. Okay, so here I have load I'm using the monitor and the battery I mean uh, the laptop and the uh, monitor I mean the TV is running This one is 200 watts uh, This one I think they ran out They don't have, they don't sell it, this one anymore By Best Tech Best Tech And um, I'm loading uh, it's, the, the voltage doesn't drop Okay, some, some uh, uh, customer they use it then uh, it dropped to like 88 to 100 volt and they don't like it and the TV is uh, dead or something okay let's go back inside and I, I just found a very nice um, inverter I will show you guys oh I forgot one thing so um, I also go want to discuss with you guys about the uh, the camping you I, I I'm building a uh, a battery pack or battery bank, and um, and this this and this one is like is like a file case that you put the folder in there, your paper. Uh, this is from here to here is like eleven point five or two or twelve inches. I think it's twelve inches long, and um, half of this you can uh, half of this is a size of a one hundred m, one hundred m twelve volt uh lipo 4 you guys can buy that on uh, amazon i will put a link below the video you just click so more below the video you see the more button click on there and i, I uh, have the link down there so in here half of this you can easily um it will be a size of a battery uh, uh 100m and two of them will be you you will get like 200m of battery power for your uh camping Okay, um, does it just show you the, uh, the the box or the side of the battery? Here we go. This is the uh, battery that I'm building right now. I have not finished them yet, and um, this is 4S. Half of this, this is like one side, 120 uh, Samsung 3M battery, 3000 milliamp. And two, two of this will be uh, 8.4 volt. You, I just flip it over and it's become a. Um, I make a connection right here. So four of this is going to be 16.8, right? So I the max that the inverter is going to run is 15 volt. It's over 15 volt. It will um, over voltage and it will stop working, right? So there is the uh, charge controller that I can adjust up to 15 or 16 volt. So that will give me a calculation. Um, this one is 3M, 3000 milliamp. It's not going to give me a 3000 milliamp when I bring up to uh, 400, uh, what is it? No, when I run up to 14 volt or 15 volt. So 15 volt I multiply by 1 amp is will give me uh 1.5 kilowatts 1.5 kilowatts of battery bank okay Now you guys can you guys see remember you guys saw that I have this battery bank right here right so that one is 12.6 maximum and it will be a, a low buff a low but a low bank and the battery bank that I have right here is this one going to run above uh, 12.6 It's run up to 16 volt and I will connect together with the other bank so when that uh, 15 volt battery bank drop down to a certain point let's say 2.75 or 3 volt uh, each which is mean what uh, 12 volt right it will shut off and this battery will continue running this one it will automatically turn on when it's reach uh 12.6 
um, that's how they um, the charge controller I mean the BMS battery management system designed for okay here I also bought the uh, the charge controller by JD JD uh, if you go to Amazon or you go to um, AliExpress you will look up JD don't look up hui hui look up JD where is JD it doesn't say JD on here but this one is 100 amp 100 amp um, continue and 200 amp um, max and it have two hole on each side for you to install your your cable and I will I'm going to put a 30 amp in here uh, 30 amp times 2 so it's going to use I'm going to use a number 4 or number 6 lug number 4 or number 6 lug like this and I'm going to serve a 2 of the 30 amp in there I'm going to put two 30 amp uh, marine cable in there and so one of them is going to be on this side and two of the 30 amp going to be in this side and then I use the uh, the nut and the bolt and um, screw it in okay and then on this side is also two 30 amp two 30 amp so what is what 60 amp 60 amp that's 120 amp right uh, this one is for a 12 volt 100 amp system. It's 100 amp max, but the cable I always use a bigger size to keep the cable cool, right? And then the breaker, I'm going to use a 100 amp or 63 amp breaker, so it's not going to be overload the inverter. So this in I mean, um, the charge controller this. This charge controller will run very cool. Um, and this one, the JD, that is one thing that the people love about it is they have active balancing. Okay, they have active balancing. I have not used the JD before. This may be the reset for the active balancing. Um, you guys can download this. You can take the picture of that and um, read the manual i have not uh, read the manual yet but this one they have it in chinese and i translate to english and that's what it means lithium protection board and this blah 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 right there scan qr code for download the app instruction manual okay that mean display that mean heating uh, connection if you want and then the bluetooth is built in guys the bluetooth built in really cool i love it I need the Bluetooth so I can control and um, check out what's going on in there, right? Check out going on, uh, what's going on with my battery uh, health. Okay, uh, please take a minute to like, subscribe um, my video and um, it will help me out a lot. Here is, I wanted to share with you guys the, please refer friend and family. Okay, so here's the cable. I'm going to put the link to the cable that I used uh, there too. Um, the price has dropped a little bit. I used to bought it $105 as of today. In uh, I bought it back in November, early November. So as of today is, is what? November 20, 25th, Saturday. And um, of 2023 and it dropped down five bucks or something. This is a marine gray and this is a hundred feet guys. This is a, a 10 gate. This is 10 gate and a hundred feet. That a 10 gate a hundred feet. Okay. So you definitely want that. Uh, this is really flexible and very really cool. Um, uh, there is something else. This one I try to buy. I want to buy it to make a uh, power line conditioning. So if to make a kind of like sine wave, that kind of thing. So if the power line is have like a spike or something, it will 
this one will help uh, conditioning the uh, the power uh, the power line and uh, the AC power line this is fifteen dollars something right there is a uh, one not fourteen dollars uh, fourteen fifty fourteen forty nine I will uh, post that uh, for you guys and the uh, go back to the uh, inverter that I found is I think this one is very awesome it's a hundred eighty seven dollars and uh, seventy four cents. Uh, maybe you guys want to buy it and uh, try it and test them out and uh, read the manual. I tried to read the manual from their website, but they don't have it. Uh, see, no, this is Costco. I have the website loaded up earlier, but where are they now? Okay, here is their website. Okay, there here is their website, and I try to find right here. They sell on their website. They sell one hundred eighty nine dollar and ninety nine cents, and I don't know if they free shipping or not. But here, look at the manual. There's no manual there, guys. There's no manual there. And I try to Google it. I cannot find the manual either. So the manual I'm looking for is the spec. Uh, uh, what is a standby draw? Um, if you don't you don't know load how much power does it draw right it doesn't say it doesn't say on the listing or from their website it doesn't say how much power load uh, they have on cap or uh, protection over load or on the load protection over voltage under voltage protection and um, this this um, uh, screen LCD is display uh, say the current voltage uh, of the battery and the current voltage of the um, the output AC and this is how much watts currently draw from the uh, the uh, the inverter And it's in here, it's also say 40% reduced power consumption, which is mean um, it doesn't say in the instruction or the listing, but to my understanding is 40% reduced power consumption from the unit itself, right? So normally, uh, normally 1000 watts of other people they will draw uh, 600 milliamp, 500 milliamp to 600 milliamp for, for 1000 watt uh, continue inverter. Um, so now let's, let's, let's use this basically 600 watt for 1000 milliamp. Some of them, they are only 500 watt. So let's use 500, 500 milliamp, okay? 500 milliamp multiplied by point. 50% I mean 40% reduced power consumption so multiply by 40% point four zero. so that mean that come out 200 milliamp right so 500 milliamp uh, of the of the um Inverter is draw 500 milliamp to 600 milliamp. Now it's it will draw 40% um, less. So that means it's 200 milliamp less. Only 300 milliamp continue uh, draw even the unit does have no load, right? So this is great for continue running all the time. Like at night, when you camping at night, and you want to have a safety light, like a uh, nine watt or ten or twelve or twenty watt of the um, the light bulb that is running outside your tent or your camping ground, and for the safety of the um, the food uh, table or whatever, right? When you go in the group. Uh, group camping ground with the kid like boy scout girl scouts and you want to have the light at night right all of the tent going to be off so yes but what about the food and the kitchen area you want to have the light on all the time 
they used to in the old day or back earlier we want we we always have those running with um you know like a propane a little propane tank and the little propane tank is very convenient but the propane is really hot my i remember that my jacket got burned from it um the propane tank light is really hot it's burned my jacket when i accidentally um back up behind me the light behind me and i didn't see it i mean um i just back up a little bit and um i didn't pay attention that i mean stand too close to the light and it's burned my jacket make a big hole like a three inches uh circle uh so the the led light like a light bulb that right now i have i have the uh, the light running this is like um i don't know maybe like this is five volt and it's like five volt and one m um power or something um so you can have those led light connect to that you can have four of those running around the kitchen area with the 20 watt uh light bulb um halogen light no not halogen light but what what, what do we call that the the one that look kind of look like coil but or you can have the led uh light bulb and you make a post stand will be fine too uh you know like a, a tube post a tube conduit uh, electrical conduit or water conduit round like like so and then you can buy the twisting let me draw the picture okay so it's have the um the post stand something like this okay and um this one across like 1.5 inch across or one inch across i think it's more than 1.5 inch i mean more than one inch so you can get a one inch stick or one inch um conduit and with like six six feet tall or seven feet tall and you can stick it in here this one you can go to it's going to go into the ground okay it's going into the ground and this this thing is can fall down this can fall down when you're done with it and you can fall out like this so you can use your hand and you can um you can you can run like that you can dig it into the ground uh at the campsite they don't want you to hang anything on the trees or dig anything hole on the ground into the ground and damage their um area or facility or you know the uh camping pro property land okay so after you use this and you remove it you can use the sand the sand or the dirt whatever here and you can fill up fill in the hole and you know return it back to their uh, normal um habitat right habitat okay so this post this post right there when you put it into the ground right when you put it into the ground like so and here you will have a, a little hole right you can use your hanger you can bend a little hook like this okay and you can hang your your light your light bulb okay you can hang your light bulb right there and electrical call wire going to run to your inverter right inverter and then from the inverter is going down to your battery battery bank right okay you guys get my point yep yeah so this inverter is is very so this inverter very low consumption of the power so you can it will be perfect for your um for your uh camping and it's a it's a thousand watt the 1200 watt is not pure sine wave right they do sell the 1200 watt i'm going to put it the link below the video as well and uh, you guys can click on any of the link click on any, uh, any of the link and then you can buy any other item but as long as you just click on one link and then you buy all the item i still get some 
a penny for your purchases. Um, here is another one that is 500 watts, but it's by Hit Cars, and it's not a good, uh, it's not a, a a high brand name, so they sell it for low price, guys. It's 500 watts for 31 dollars. Um, I don't know if you wanna buy this if you don't use a microwave or you only use light lighting. Maybe you want you wanna buy this one. I'm going to put the link below the video as well. Uh, so that way. This one is also have the LED so that's how much the percent of the um, the power left and remaining blah 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 but um, I I haven't used this one so I have no idea what the standby consumption power it doesn't say on here one year warranties if you use more than 150 watt power product please use the battery clip cable okay so the car outlet is only like a, a less than 150 watts guys this one look good maybe i give it a try um the back of it is also like a twisting um nut like that uh it's only 500 watts it's not like thousand two thousand watts or something they're not going to give you a a nut and a screw bolt and here the best tech uh pure sine wave uh, right here is sale for uh, eighty-seven dollars, and during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, it sale for seventy dollars, twenty percent off. Uh, Pure Sun Wave five hundred watts. It's really basic. It's only half a, uh, it's only half a, uh, two, USB outlet and two, um, AC outlet. There are some people complaining about this product too. They say that is um oh this guy on my okay um it say that uh, he put under this his thing and is short circuit. Oh he um wow this is insane. Okay, so he used the meter between the hot and the ground. Um, it's produced 49 volt. That's scary. Yeah, that's scary. So probably you don't want to buy this because it's, it's, it's make power between hot and the ground. The, this, is called, this is considered as hot circuit, right? You can get socks and you get hurt. Wow, thank you very much guys. Thank you very much um to uh what's his name? Lost Target? Uh, his name doesn't he didn't put his name in there. But this is insane. The circuit tester so an open ground. This is a problem for device that use a three prong or ground plug. Wow, okay. Thank you very much uh for showing this. So this device is not safe. Uh, the 500 watt doesn't is not safe. I don't know if they report to the company or not. So let's go back to the okay. So 1,000 watts will be will be better. Where was it? Oh. Okay, so 1000 watts will be better, right? 1000 watts, 1000 watts of power, you can run a microwave from it. Uh, pure sound wave, and this one is a uh, high end, high price, and look at the rating. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, So this one is sale for a very low price. This is a big power inverter. This is not this one. Look at the design. It look awesome, right? But they it's not a pure sine wave. It doesn't have pure sine wave. And there are some reading that I read in here. <clears throat> it say that um, they are under under voltage. So this is garbage under voltage. It uh, only eighty eight volt out of uh 
150 uh, out of 120 volt or 110 volt, right? And the tester, uh, they is so that is not even get to 800 watts. Um, and here there is a a solar panel that I want to show you guys. Now, if you have an SUV, they just saw the picture of an SUV. I mean, uh, a, a mobile home. Um, the mobile home, you guys get a big mobile home like this. You want to have a, you want to have multiple, um, inverter. One is two thousand watts for microwave and oven and stuff. Uh, the because the this is a big mobile home, right? So one is two thousand watt or three thousand watt, uh, uh, micro uh, for microwave and and oven and stuff uh, stuff running at the same time, and one is one thousand watts or five hundred watts. Um, so that you can use for uh lighting and stuff, but now since this device is made. Since this device make forty percent less power consumption, that means you have more. Uh, it will consume less power while it's running, and um, and uh, and 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 when there's no load, so you spend a little more money, maybe two times as much more money, right? Maybe, but you get. In a long run, you save a lot of power, right? Um, that will give you more capacity for another um, to run another device all night long, right? Now you want to have at least two hundred m twelve volt battery, um, LiPo four uh, for your camping. If you if you have like four or five people, if you have like one two people, one hundred m will be fine. But you want to have a solar panel as well, guys. See, check this out. I'm going to have the link for this one as well. It's only seventy dollars, and they come with one hundred watt solar panel. They give you a multiple choice down here. Uh, again, you only. Click on one of my link and then you can buy all the stuff on Amazon. They still give me something. And check this out. It's very beautiful, guys. It's not like the own um, solar, uh, solar anymore. This one is a uh, high-tech advanced solar panel. And look at the size. It's 45 inches long and uh, 46 inches long and 18 inches wide. So you can have two of this. 100 watts in your SUV or minivan or um, RV and uh, you can go to the camping you will be stay over the weekend just fine with the 200 m of power and um, uh, 200 uh, m of battery bank uh, 12 volt or 100 m 24 volt or you can have more it just give you more capacity now you remember the power uh, the LiPo 4 and the lithium battery, it will not, you can use more from it. You, it will not um, damage your battery when it's rich, uh, up, upper certain voltage, it will shut down with the BMS. And when, when it drops down below the voltage, it will just shut off the BMS. There's no damage to the battery. If you use the exit battery of any kind, you can only use 50% of it, okay guys? If you have like a 100 amp, um battery battery being by exit mm, let exit let's say 700 or 800 cranking m right or a thousand cranking m and and is and if you calculate that by um the volt you will get about 100 m out of that right but it's a let exit you only have to, you can only use 50 m from that and you can and you have to carry a very heavy load of battery lead acid or um agm or gel or 
the seal led access battery, those are all the same. You only can you can only use 50% of it. 50 to 60% of it. Lead access only 50% and the AGM or the seal lead access, whatever. You should use only 50% of it to uh, keep it last long, otherwise it's uh, ruined very quickly. And um, the label 4, you can use 100M from it, or 90 or 295M from it, which is really awesome. Um, so that that is the one that does, those are all of the one that I want to show you guys, uh, I, I want to recommend you guys to buy. And this one for the regular car, okay guys, it's only $20, they are not on sale, They this is $20 for regular price. And I'm going to put this on the link below as well. Um, the Eco Worthy, this is for home. Uh, 24 volt for home use or um, RV use. This one, the fan will run all the time. So this one is for home use, guys. The um, It comes with two, the uh, charge controller and inverter. Two in one, and the fan is running all the time. It doesn't five hundred watts. Uh, you can use it at home, but not in the RV because it's uh, the it's running all the time. In the RV, you want to use the one that the charge controller that is silent. It have the hissing on the back. I will look that up and I will list that uh, below as well, and you guys can uh, take a look and compare them. Um, the on I'm um, on eBay. They not uh hundred ninety nine point ninety nine. In here is listing list that they are on sale, but they actually the hundred ninety nine ninety nine on eBay is always uh that price for two hundred bucks. The what else I want to talk to you earlier? I forgot. Um, let me look. Um. Oh here, okay. So this one, this type of uh, power bank is have uh, inverter built in, the battery built in. You can buy a higher price for a more capacity or more power output, but it's on up to you guys. It's uh, dependent you guys. Um, this one you may have to. This one you can charge the. Uh, it have the solar input in the back and this one you can also charge from home as well see you can charge when you finish you can charge from the uh, outlet as well but but this will be heavy okay guys it's will heavy it's going to be heavy because everything is in there mm, the small one is not going to uh, have a lot of power. The big one is going to give you more power. But everything in in including it together in it is going to make the thing really heavy for you guys to carry around. It's best in my opinion and my experience. It's best for you guys to have this one separate and the battery bank is separate. Okay, so in the battery bank you can carry easily to the location wherever you are or you can put on a little two wheel and you can roll it and this one you can load it on top of that or you can get the uh, um the uh what is it called a a a milk milk crate milk crate something like that right on the, some kind of basket and you can put the battery in there and the um and the cushion and the inverter in it so you and then you can load it onto the two wheel dolly little little tiny foldable portable dolly and you can roll it um this one they list this is only like five pound guys only 5.8 or 5, 5 about five pound of the weight uh so five pound is really lightweight for the 1000 1000 watts um where where was the weight of it i i forgot where it was but 
uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, thanks again guys for viewing my video. Please do like, subscribe and check out the link below the video. Let me look. Okay, so right below the video, you will see uh, so more. And you when you click on so more, it will show my uh, my link down here. Okay, when you close the so more, uh, let me du uh, duplicate it. So when so more button right there, see right below the video, so more. When you click on that, it will show on the link. And we will have on the on the link down here. Thank you very much guys. Thanks again and uh, please stay safe and uh, refer friend and like subscribe. Have a good day, have a good weekend.